Good morning, teachers, and welcome to this week's Two Minute Teacher Tip. This week, we're going to talk about my three biggest failures that taught me the most. Number one, that time where I kept proposing the same activity year after year uh, and somehow kept thinking that I was going to get the same successful result. I don't know why I thought that. It started off with a really cool activity that my English class responded to. I felt like I was a great teacher. I was so excited. I couldn't wait to do it again the second year. Then the second year came around and yeah, I mean, it, it turned out pretty well. Not quite like the first year, but that's okay. Then I did it the third year and it was really starting to fall apart on some level, but I went ahead and did it the fourth year and it was a total disaster. Why is this? Well, obviously each group has their dynamics, has their different needs, has their different way of responding to things. But mostly it was that I was no longer bringing the same enthusiasm because this activity was something that I knew too well and it was becoming a bit of a routine. So now I've learned when I want to repropose something, I take a few minutes to look at it with new eyes and I see where could I update my toolbox? Mm, what kind of surprise could I bring into it that would actually make me a little almost excited and nervous again about trying it? It brings another level of energy into what I'm doing. Then we've got number two, those times where I would propose uh, group activities of four or five students without really verifying if these students were very accustomed to working in groups and how well they managed their different class dynamics. So mm, what does this mean? That now I definitely, I try to start off with very small, short, feasible specific things with just maybe two students where I let them work in pairs uh, uh, and then share with the rest of the class and gradually build up to some of those bigger, uh, higher stakes activities that are going to require them to sustain this level of relationships and even conflict management, but working up to it more slowly. And then we get to three. Another little mistake that I would make when I was a younger teacher was uh, taking students' misbehavior personally. Mm, a student is going to act out in, our, in all of our classrooms. This happens to us. Mm, the big difference is how we receive it. And in this case, we have an opportunity to just take the zoom off what's happening and look at their behavior with the eyes of curiosity. Because if we look at that behavior, as a form of communication that is hiding an emotion and a need, we're going to find other kinds of responses that are going to be more effective and much more mm, uh, satisfying for both me and the student. Let us know, what are some of your epic fails that really have turned you into a better, stronger teacher? We'd love to hear about them in the comment section and we'll see you next week.